And after the break, how do you get professional looking photos off of your camera phone? Well, we're talking to one of the biggest experts in the world, Scott Kelby. He's gonna show us what to do with your camera. That's coming up after this, stick with us. More than 302 million cell phones in the United States. There have never been more camera phone pictures taken each day than there are now. But they don't always look that great, right? Yeah. Uh, KTLA's Dave Malkoff has some killer tips that will improve your cell phone pics instantly. Can you move a little bit this way? If you have the right equipment, Excellent. the experience. So my name is Scott Kelby, and I write books on photography and on Photoshop. Made to make sure her eyes are really sharp. And cute models. Stop it! <laughs> Getting that perfect shot is simple. You did great today, Maria. Unlike the pros who follow this Photoshop guy, we are here to learn photo tricks for the cell phone. The cameras in them are getting so good. Pro trick number one is called the rule of thirds. One of the big mistakes people make is when they go to shoot somebody, they put them dead center in the middle of the photo. All that space above her head looks bad. So let's take the shot again, but this time let's put her eyes up top. Always put the eyes in one of those thirds, never in the center. They're over to the left side, over to the right side, about a third from the edge. Pro trick number two, closer is better, especially with couples. I'll show you the trick to get a great shot that really has that kind of closeness. All right, you guys, let's get together and take a picture real quick. Got it. Okay, not great. Get really in tight, let your heads touch. It's gonna change this dramatically. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Which one looks better? Look at the giant gap between them. Look at the second picture. And it's night and day, and it's the heads that bring the closeness and the emotion to the photo. Pro trick number three, tuck your arms. I'm sure you have a lot of nighttime photos that ended up looking like this. It's blurry because you're holding your phone wrong. So we'll take it with one hand, we're out like this, we're way out like this. Keep it close to your body. Your body will add stability to keep the camera from moving. Looks much better, huh? Now we're on to pro trick number four. Photo apps like Instagram are a one-click way to punch up your photos. Before, after, before, after. I just wish that Adobe would add a bunch of that one-click stuff to Photoshop. And if they do, Scott Kelby will be the first to tell you about it. In downtown LA, Dave Malcolm, KTLA 5 News. That's how you do it nowadays. You, it's just like this. Yeah. You don't need somebody. Else. Well, now we have the tips. There yeah. you go. All right. We're off and running.